पविंदु दिया पढ़ु को दाशे त्रिना पे खाओ की दीना पे खाती हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय प्रभु पद 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 प्रभु पद शील जय गुरुदेवा जय गुरुदेवा जय गुरुदेवा जय गुरुदेवा जय गुरुदेवा जय गुरुदेवा गुरुदेवा जय गुरुदेवा गुरु हरि बो हरि बो हरि बोल नीताय गौरा हरि बो नीताय गौरा हरि बो हरि बो हरि बोल नीताय गौरा हरि बो ठाकुर की जय नम ओं विष्णुपराय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नितना नमस्ते सारस्वती देवी कौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष श्रीनिवादि पाश्चातिशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे but many of you have been wanting to know for all hari krishna yeah. many of you have been wanting to know more about the places we are visiting and you like to get more information that's the feedback we have received as most of you know here this place is called palimar mat shri pada madhvacharya established eight mats around udupi there are actually a few more mats and during the class on tuesday and maybe later maharaj will be speaking about the history of those mats the eight mats that you would see in udupi are actually in a sense the head office of the mats the actual mats are elsewhere like for example this is the palimar mat in palimar village likewise every mat is named after one of the villages where the mat is present some are nearby some are far away the palimar mat and the adumar mat are the ones which are quite close to udupi and so we one of the reasons we chose this mat is to help you all appreciate the environment in which the initial followers of shri pada madhvacharya conducted their life wrote their works and tried to start their preaching work 
This Alimar Mat was headed by Rishi Kesha Tirtha, who was the elderly disciple of Madhvacharya. And when Madhvacharya gave him this mat, he also gave him a deity of Sita, Ram and Lakshman. And they have been worshipping it ever since. So when you entered from that side, you would have seen an altar in the house-like structure behind. And in that altar, the deity of Sita, Ram, Lakshman, as well as Lakshmi Narayan and Lakshmi Narsimha would be worshipped. The head of the mud usually takes these deities with him wherever he goes. As of now, he's not here. So it's, it's with him where he's worshipping. And this mud has a very interesting history. So this mud has been associated with the worship of Ram, Lakshman and Hanuman. In fact, Rishikesha Tirtha actually pleased Madhvacharya by reciting the Bhagavatam verses in a very mellifluous way whenever Madhvacharya used to give his lectures and quote the Bhagavatam. So, in, in his lineage, many sannyasis or yatis, they were ardent worshippers of Lord Ramachandra. About six generations, about six sannyasis ago, there was a very famous sannyasi or the head of the mud by the name, His Holiness Raghu Pravira Tirtha. Raghu Pravira Tirtha, like all of the other heads of the muds, took up sannyas at a very young age, probably eight or ten years old. And he had a problem. He was not a scholar and he had a little stuttering. And the head of the mud is expected to, was expected in the Madhva Mats to be a scholar, to teach others about scriptures and to de defeat others in debates, to establish philosophy firmly, etc. And Raghu Pravira Tirtha couldn't do any of this. So he was very distraught that the people who came to the mud were thinking that the mud has had an unworthy successor. He didn't want to displease the Acharya who had installed him as the head of the mud. So he went to a place called Ghatikachala. It is also called as Sholingur. It is in northern Tamil Nadu, south, just south of Andhra Pradesh. I mean, but in those days there was nothing like Tamil Nadu in Andhra Pradesh. So he went to that place. And that place is famous for two hills and in one of the hills there is a deity of Yoga Narsimha and in the other hill there is a deity of Hanuman. So he went to the hill of Hanuman and he recited Sundara Kanda continuously for I think 40 plus 41 days or so. He was facing the hill of Lakshmi Nars the Yoga Narasimha and he was reciting Sundara Kanda for 41 days. At the end of the 41st day, Hanumanji appeared in front of Raghu Pravira Tirtha and he blessed him saying, henceforth whatever you speak will be the truth. I am giving you the gift of erudition in scriptures. Uh, you can go back to your mat and at the base of the two hills there was a pond. Go there and you will find a deity. Worship that deity. So Raghu Pravira Tirtha went to the base of the hill and he put his arms beneath the water and he found a deity of Hanuman similar to the pose of Yoga Narasimha. We usually don't find Hanuman in the pose of like Yoga Narasimha. So after so that, that deity is the one who is being worshipped in the altar to my right, which I am pointing out here. Uh, and if you are lucky, we can take the help of the Pujari to show us the deity. Sometimes he does that. So that was with Raghu Pravira Tirtha, part one. After he came back to this mat, he became a brilliant scholar. He wrote a lot of commentaries. He trained many devotees, etc. 
But as you see, this place is like quite a remote place and it was even more remote in those days. It was very close to the forest. So every day there used to be a, there was a cow whose milk was used to uh, do Abhishek for the deities, do all the Kheer for the deities, etc. One day a tiger came to this mud, pounced upon this cow, killed the cow and did what it had to do. And Raghu Pravira Tirtha was very anguished that this devotee cow who was serving the deity so nicely was mauled and killed in this way. For 21 days he stopped speaking. He didn't do any worship. All, I mean worship of the deities. All that he did was to do his mantra chapa. He didn't speak to anybody and everybody was very concerned that the head of the mud is not eating anything. He has gone on this vrata here. On the 21st day, the tiger came to the gate of the smut and then it gave up its body. And only after that, he, res he resumed his service to the deities, etc. So if you go to, we, we all will go to the Udipi temple, hopefully on Tuesday. When you come out of the main altar of Udipi temple, on the left side, there are actually a set of what we call in this corner as Samadhis. <laughs> but in here among the Madhvas, they are called it as Brindavana. So there are the Brindavanas of many sages. Amongst those Brindavanas, you will see a, a statue of a tiger. That's the Brindavana of Raghu Pravira Tirtha, who's there in uh, Udupi. And to my left here is the Brindavana of a recent, just the previous Acharya of Palimarmat. His name is Vidya Manya Tirtha. The Mats established by uh, Madhvacharya can be classified into two types. One is the Mats along the Udupi, near Udupi and centered around Udupi. And the ones which are more inland. So these are the more coastal and there's the inland Mats. And one of the, the main inland Mat is called as Uttaradi Mat. So Madhva's immediate followers, which uh, includes uh, Padmanabha Tirtha, Narahari Tirtha, you'll hear about all of them from Maharaj. And finally leading all the way to Jay Tirtha, their headquarters was the Uttaradi Mat. That's in interior Karnataka. And that Mat has been known to have come out with more, with, uh, come out, have Acharyas who write more commentaries on Madhva's writings, and popularize and propagate the teachings. So, Vidya Manya Tirtha became the head initially of the Bhandara Kere Mat, which Maharaj spoke yesterday. The Bhandara Kere Mat was the Mat of Achyuta Preksha. No, seeing his wonderful qualities, he was also asked to become the head of the Palimar Mat, where we are right now. So, he became the head of both the Mats, Palimar Mat and Bhandara Kere Mat. But then, two things he did at a point in time, which was during his initial sannyas days, like he got sannyas at the age of 10 or so, he, from the age of 10 to the age of 26, he learned the Madhva Siddhanta from the sannyasi, head sannyasi of Uttaradi Mat, who imbued in him the spirit of preaching or propagating Madhva Siddhanta. So at one point in time, he saw that there were very new sannyasis coming up in the eight mats, but they were not being sufficiently trained. So for 10 years, he did not take up any additional service, but he just took up the service of training the new head sannyasis of other mats, because he wanted that whatever he received from the head of the Uttaradi mat should be propagated further, number one. But that was for the head of the mats. Number two is that he felt we are here in this coastal area in some remote place. And in Karnataka, Bangalore was a capital city. 
we need to do something in the capital city. So he encouraged one of the main disciples, the, the head sannyasis whom he was training, to set up an institution in Bangalore, and it was called Vidya Pita. And the way it was set up is that students are encouraged to come and learn the Vedic scriptures for six years. And those who show keen interest in the philosophy, they then go to the next step of reading Jayatirtha's Nyaya Sudha. And at the end of those three to four years of uh, reading Jayatirtha's Nyaya Sudha, there's a ceremony called Sudha Mangala, where they have to debate different philosophies in Sanskrit. And then following that, they are given a degree. And from that time onwards, that person becomes, is called as an Acharya. And only these Acharyas, who could be householders, who could be Brahmacharis, who could take sannyas later, these Acharyas are authorized to uh, give lectures on Madhva philosophy. So they have systematized this in their mud. And to such an extent that whoever goes to this extent of reading uh, Nyaya Sudha, they even give him a cash prize. Like, you spent three years, five years for us learning the Siddhanta, we'll give you a cash token so that you don't feel you have lost something in life. You contribute something more to the society. But this was a brainchild of Vidya Manya Tirtha, uh, whose prominent Shiksha disciple was Vishwesha Tirtha, who was very famous in the Vishwa Hindu Parishad movement and the Ramjan Bhumi movement, etc. That's it, Guru. By the way, almost all, or practically all of the sharing with you of the, the events and the places and the people and the acharyas and everything, I don't know how many hours, but many, many hours he's the author and the researcher you know, I took it and edited it in a way that suits my personality, but the work is over here. And it's not over yet. <clears throat> you probably noticed several things coming in. There were some ladies that were singing what were they singing? They're singing in accordance with songs that were an essential part of giving the teachings of Madhvacharya and names of the Lord in song form for the public. Something quite similar to, to what Bhakti Mino Thakur did, or we could say Bhakti Mino Thakur did something quite similar. You know, some historians trace this, it's a movement, Haridas movement, it's called in the academic circles. Uh, it was to popularize through song the teachings and names of the Lord. Sound similar. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the followers of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did such similar things. It's a precursor. It's not that Mahaprabhu built upon it. He came specifically to deliver the Yuga Dharma. But it's not that before he was existing, people weren't congregationally with music because it was done with music. We're going to hear some more when we go to Udupi. One of the celebrated, anyway, there's, there's, there are many persons that were involved in that type of activity. More of the pastimes of Madhvacharya and his followers, the, 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 
acharyas that followed him are, are well known. His teaching are also well known. But, you know, the way of popularizing for the benefit of the uneducated, simple people of the world, which is many, there was also this Haridas movement, chanting of the names of Hari, and the, mixed with teachings of Madhvacharya. I want to just make a quick comment. Does anybody know of a Bengali that can't sing nicely? I mean, she sings very nicely. And those of you that are from a different part of the world than Bengal, you can hear the accent of how she sings. So I was a little, you know, I'm making a, a, some words of appreciation for her nice singing ability. And I'm a little concerned that as I have a hard time hearing and understanding some of you when you ask questions, I'm a little concerned that there may be persons in this audience that have some difficulty understanding me. So if you're one of those persons... I try to speak slowly and pause and things like that. But if you're having difficulty understanding the message, please speak to one of our organizers and I can try to make it easier for you to understand what I'm speaking. That's a concern. I'm just sharing a concern. Okay. The event, one of the, the primary event at this place is the initiation lecture and the yagya and the vows and formal initiation, etc. And giving of Gayatri mantras to a number of devotees as well. The intention initially was that this was going to take place at the Balaram temple and the goalposts changed because we found out they're doing renovations of the Balaram temple so the place where we're going to have the yagya etc was no longer available the deity is not for public viewing and so this initiation lecture is with the intention of speaking aside from the principles of initiation was to speak something specially about Balaram with the understanding that Balaram is the original guru. Adi Guru Balaram. As Lord Nityananda performs that function also. As Lakshman in Ram's Leela performs that function as does Hanuman. Their function as guru or the acharya or the one who brings one to the supreme Lord. So we're going. To, that's where this topic is going. So we're focusing on Balaram for that reason. Those re those reasons. <clears throat> you see on the screen a nice painting, BBT painting, of King Nimi who was in the process of performing a yagya. There's the brahmanas and the yagya fire and others who are ministers in his um, leadership, his kingdom. There's his big seat, the king's seat, King Nimi. And as the yagya was proceeding, much to everybody's amazement, these nine... personalities like Narada Muni they could travel without 
any assistance. They just had that capacity. They're in this position, very powerful, transcendental personalities. They're called the Navayogendras, nine of them. So as the yagya was going on, they just kind of descended above the yagya, hovered in the air, and normally when yagyas begin, you don't stop, but this was an exception. Nimi stopped, and with palms folded, he addressed these exalted personalities in a proper manner, and then he took the opportunity in their company to do, besides offering proper respect, to present many questions. And that's the section they're reading from. So it's Canto 11, Chapter 3. And um, the, the person who is speaking is Antariksha. That's one of the nine Yogendras. And he's answering questions that King Nimi has about what we're doing today, which is the acceptance of Guru. What is its significance? That's why we selected this section. We're just going to cover a few verses, starting with, so those of you that like to follow along, you can get out your little handheld device and look up the verse. 11.3.22 is our starting point. I'm just going to read the translation, a little bit from the purports, etc. Sri Antariksha said, This is the verse. Accepting the bona fide spiritual master as one's life and soul and worshipable deity, the disciple should learn from him the process of pure devotional service. The Supreme Personality of Godhead Hari, the soul of all souls, is inclined to give himself to the pure devotees. Therefore, the disciple should learn from the spiritual master to serve the Lord without duplicity and in such a faithful and favorable way that the Supreme Lord, being satisfied, will offer himself to the faithful disciple now, for example, we heard when Madhvacharya became uh, initiated in the sannyas order, the deity personally manifested before the deity, before him. And when he was paying his prostrated obeisances, the deity picked him up and embraced him. Now, that's probably not going to happen here. But... How the Lord wants to reciprocate personally is up to him. And one should understand there are some qualifications from the side of the disciple. Besides submission, there's sincerity and faithful service in a favorable way. By the way, this is one of the outstanding themes or strained threads Throughout all of these descriptions, we're going to hear more and more of these great personalities in Madhva's line, etc., and Ramanuja's line, etc., completely sold out, faithful to their spiritual master. Their life was their spiritual master and his instructions to them. So that's a, that's a symptom. And then the reciprocation is the Lord gives himself. Here's a little bit from the commentary. Sridhar Swami makes a commentary on this verse where he says, an example of the Lord giving himself to his devotee is found in the story of Bali Maharaj. In the story of Bali Maharaj, Bali was tested by Vamana, Bali passed the test without any reservation. He accepted 
abject humility after surrendering everything, his possessions, his mind, and his soul, the Lord gave himself. He became the gatekeeper. And is still the gatekeeper of Bali Maharaj's next kingdom in Sutala. He's still there. The gatekeeper becomes the servant of his servant or his disciple or his devotee. Jiva Goswami makes two comments. One is that the Spiritual master is considered to be the Atma or the very life of the disciple. Since, according to Jiva Goswami, life begins at the time of initiation. So his second birth, there's the body is born, and then there's the spiritual identity emerges in its complete form through, the, through this process. And therefore, in this process, the spiritual master is considered the Atma, the life and soul of the disciple. And then, and then he also expresses there's a natural gratitude that arises in the heart of the one who, who's, who has given life by the spiritual master. And thus, dedication to life and soul. It's a natural relationship. Natural spiritual, natural. He goes on further to comment from a Shruti mantra that says, Anadad di mani utani jayante. Meaning of that Shruti mantra it is from the all-blissful Supreme that all creatures have come into being. Jiva Goswami makes that comment. Vishwanath Chakrabarti Thakur comments on that comment, saying that when the Lord bestows himself, what that means, it can mean, that a fortunate devotee can actually see the Lord, touch the Lord, directly engage in his service. Now, this is a, that's a very elevated state. So the Lord can reciprocate with the surrendered devotee however he likes, because he's the independent. And we're dependent. But the principle is clear, and the Lord may choose to come before the devotee like that. And it's not that we, we should place our requisition slip our demand, upon, Lord, please do this. I know some devotees that have that way, but we, that's not the way. It's if he, if he so desires, one may have an aspiration, something, something, a spiritual aspiration, something, something. But it's up to him, and he may. And, and at least in principle, he gives himself. That's the first response given by Antariksha to King Niming. Now we're going on, those of you who like to follow. Text 23 from this chapter. There's something from the disciples' side, in addition to something from the Lord's side. A sincere disciple, this is a definition of that prerequisite to have the Lord give himself so the prerequisite is sincere. So somebody sometimes asks, what, is the, what does it mean, sincere? Here's the answer. A sincere disciple should learn to disassociate the mind from everything material and positively cultivate association with his spiritual master, and other saintly devotees. Don't forget other saintly devotees. He, the sincere disciple, should be merciful 
to those in an inferior position to him, cultivate friendship with those on an equal level, and meekly serve those in a higher spiritual position. Thus he should learn to deal properly with all living beings. Now, those of you that are familiar with our Gaudiya teachings, that's the Madhyama Adhikari. There's, he doesn't say, you know, he speaks of how to relate properly with others. More advanced, peers, less advanced, and, you know, those that are in another category. Inimical. Atheists. Against. Vowedly against. So there's proper behavior with those people. Madhvacharya comments on this verse that from the Garuda Purana to demonstrate that within this universe those who take birth as demigods great rishis or pious human beings are all considered those who one should serve the Shantas those who are, who are those persons who we should always serve. Saintly persons. Two more verses, just to cover our topic. Those that like to go read along, it's text 26, is the next one. One should have firm faith that he will achieve all success in life by following those scriptures that describe the glories of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Bhagavan, like primary amongst all of them is the Bhagavatam itself, glorifications of Bhagavan. All success will follow. With firm faith, one should hear from the, such scriptures, and all success will follow. At the same time, one should avoid blaspheming other scriptures. <clears throat> While holding Bhagavatam up here, we don't blaspheme other teachings. We may differ with those other teachings, but we don't blaspheme those other teachings, particularly from scriptures. One should rigidly control his mind, speech, and bodily activities Always speak the truth and bring the mind and senses under full control. So these are nice instructions, yes? Relevant to what we're doing today and relevant to our lives, whether one is already initiated, not yet initiated, or being initiated, whatever the time sequence is, these are instructions. Just like yesterday, how do I how to prepare myself or qualify myself for second initiation? Here's the answer: just continue, and the fruit will come. When you plant a, a fruit tree, I remember as a little boy, my father planted a peach tree in the backyard. So a little boy is looking at the peach tree. Where are the peaches? And I was told, be patient. That was a good instruction, be patient. Next year, where are the peaches? Be patient. Next year, next year, little, little, little green things appeared. Oh, that's the peaches. But they didn't become matured yet. Be patient. And we, we moved from that place to another place, but the, the final year we lived in that place, really bright, juicy peaches. And then we moved. <laughs> but I'm sure the tree kept producing nice peaches even after we left. It takes time. But patience based upon what? natural principles. There's material principles that are natural and there's spiritual principles that are natural. Adhere to the spiritual principles and the fruit will come with full faith. 
fruit will come. Rupa Goswami comments on this verse. Iha yasya harer dashe karmana manasagira dekilapa jivasta so jivan mukta so uchati. Jivan mukta. A person who acts in Krishna consciousness by, by service to the Supreme Lord in, in course of time. This stage of perfection will come. And this mukti, of course, there's different definitions. We're going to hear a little bit about it. As far as Madhvacharya is concerned, there's different living entities who are, have different eligibilities for liberation, and there's, therefore there's different liberations according to the qualification of the living entity. But, but from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's position, it's right in the Srimad Bhagavatam. There's ten topics. Isn't it? There's ten topics in the Bhagavatam. And there's a nice definition. One of the ten is liberation. Talked about in the Bhagavatam. And the, 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 the definition given in the Bhagavatam of what a liberation is, achieving one's spiritual form, pain of yabastiti, Vyavastati, becoming situated in your spiritual form and engaged in service to the Supreme Lord in your spiritual form. Now, it's not, that doesn't mean that a, a, a sadaka can't be a liberated devotee because where's their spiritual form? But it means the platform from which devotional service that's sincere is rendered is from that platform. It's just, it's, Spiritual. Bhakti is spiritual. The platform of bhakti is spiritual. So it's like waiting for the peach tree to bear peaches in time. And then there's one last verse I'd like to speak a little bit about. It's from the same section. 11.348. Here it is. Translation. Having obtained the mercy of his spiritual master, who reveals to the disciple the injunctions of the Vedic scriptures, the devotee should worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the particular personal form of the Lord the devotee finds most attractive. So is it okay? The answer is yes, it's okay. But there's a particular name and there's a particular form and one likes that particular name or that particular form and it's Bhagavatam authorized. Take that name, take that form. While respecting other names and other forms of the Supreme Lord, having some affinity, that's good. It's, it's an important teaching. So some of you may already have, and if you don't already have, be patient. The peach tree will bear peaches. And in course of time, there will be a, a natural attraction. So without naming names, I'll just mention one family I know, a family of three. The husband, the father, worships Sitaram Lakran Hanuman. He is a Ram Bhakta. The son, he's around 20-ish. He, his favorite deity is Lord Nishingadev. He has a Prahlad Nishinga deity. And he worships very faithfully. And the mother, or the wife, she worships Govardhan. And they're a very happy family. <laughs> There's no partisanship. Wait a minute, this one, that one. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's scripturally fantastic. So supposing you have some attraction, supposing you don't yet have a mature attraction, call, so we call on the name Krishna or the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And one of the injunctions connected with the practice of initiation when according, and Brahmana initiation as well, one should meditate on the meaning of the mantra. And we heard yesterday, how many meanings are there for each of the names in Vishnu Sahasranam? At least. 
a hundred. Now Prabhupada streamlined it. The all attractive Krishna. Balaram, the source of spiritual strength. So when chanting mantra, it's recommended in Hari Bhakti Vilas that you meditate on the meaning of the mantra as you're chanting the mantra. To get the full effect, you can just chant the mantra without, and there's enormous benefit. But to get peaches from the peach tree, meditate on the meaning of the mantra, meaning of the name. Both. In the purport found in Srimad Bhagavatam, there's a reference from a verse from Brahma Vaivarta Purana. And I'm just going to end with this. The reference from Brahma Vaivarta Purana reads quote, One pollutes his own intelligence and exhibits severe weakness of character when he rejects his own spiritual master, period. Indeed, such a person has already rejected the Supreme Lord Hari, unquote. The bona fide disciple should always remember that his entire understanding of Vedic knowledge is coming through the mercy of his bona fide spiritual master. If one superficially or whimsically accepts and rejects a bona fide Vaishnava spiritual master, sometimes becoming attracted by another spiritual master, one commits a Vaishnava parad, a great offense against the devotees, plural, of the Lord. Sometimes, in the name of spiritual aspirations, such a fool gives up a bona fide Vaishnava guru. One should understand oneself to be the eternal servant of the guru. Now, let's move to Balaram. And because Balaram is the Adi guru, and here's, you've seen this sequence before. This is the, th the three main deities that Madhvacharya received in this special event, which I'm not going to narrate now because, we're, because of time. But he simultaneously received all three of these deities in a big lump of Gopi Chandan. Nice story, we'll hear it later. Udupi Krishna, Balaram deity, which we're not going to have darshan of. And when we leave here, we'll see the Janardhan deity, we'll, for, hopefully have darshan of the Janardana deity. We're going to hear some of the details about the meaning of Janardana. So we can meditate on the meaning of Janardana when we see the Janardana deity. Here's where we're going, the midday. There's the Janardana deity location. 20 kilometers south of Udupi, you see in the map, there's Udupi. And south of Udupi is Yermal. And that's where the Janardhan deity is. The place where we're not going because of construction, renovation, is the Balaram deity. Now, Balaram, some of you know, there's some technical terms. Balaram is the first expansion of Krishna, correct? And that category of the first expansion of Krishna is called Swayam Prakash. Swayam Prakash. What does Prakash mean? Like light or manifesting. Like there's the sun and there's the jyoti from the sun. Or the sun light manifests the presence of the sun. Similarly, Balaram reveals or manifests Krishna. Thus, Swayam Prakash. That's his function. And according to scripture, particularly you'll find this in detail in Chaitanya Charitamrita, that Balaram is the Adi Guru. Why? Because he reveals Krishna. And the Guru's function is to reveal Krishna. 
on behalf, on the strength, the spiritual strength of Balaram. To progress, Prabhupada writes in Krishna book, I like, to progress in spiritual life, one must have strength. It's a statement in scripture. Now there's a certain personality, celebrated personality who said, you got to do lots of physical exercise and, you know, run and exercise and lift weights and become, you know, physically fit because you have to have strength in order to make spiritual progress. Did you know that? There's, I won't say who. Celebrated personality. You had lots of followers that did lots of exercise to get strength because you need strength to make spiritual progress. But it's not that kind of strength. It's spiritual strength. That means you, one needs the mercy of Balaram. How are you going to get the mercy of Balaram? You get the mercy of Balaram through the representative of Balaram. That's how you get it. The guru is seen as the external manifestation of Balaram. Of course, the external manifestation of Janardana, who is one of the functions of super soul, is that same function. We're going to hear some more about it shortly in our next visit. That's one of the functions of Balaram, or one can say his expansion, the Lord of the heart. So we, we aspiring devotees of Krishna, why Krishna? Because according to Srimad Bhagavatam, which is our topmost pramana, our evidence, the Amala Pramana, Srimad Bhagavatam, Krishna is the origin of all. He says in Bhagavad Gita also, he's the origin of all. So we accept. Aham Sarvasya Prabhavo Matak Sarvam Prabhartate. He's the source of everything. Matter and spirit is everything, and he is the source of everything. We take shelter of him. To take shelter of him, we need a via media to take shelter of him. We don't just take shelter of him and forget everybody else. We, ta we take shelter of him through the medium of the representative of Balaram, who is Swayam Prakash, who reveals Krishna to a sincere, we heard this nice definition of what does sincere mean. Now one time, just concluding, one time Prabhupada was asked by a devotee, it's a celebrated question, Prabhupada, how does one become sincere? Because he was speaking about the necessity of being sincere. How, do, how does one become sincere? And Prabhupada's answer was, everybody knows what sincere means, so be sincere. <laughs> that was his answer. We know what insincere is, we know what sincere is, so be sincere. So associate with those who are sincere, you become sincere. That was more complete form of his answer. Be like that. So that's Sadhu Sangha. He said the Sadhu Sangha answer in, in a different way, but it was the Sadhu Sangha answer. How to is Sadhu Sangha. Associate with those that are sincere and be like them, not copy them, but take on the qualities of those that are sincere. And therefore, we have Sangha. And each of us, not somebody else is supposed to be sincere, but we're supposed to be examples of what sincere is. Why? It takes strength to, to, to do anything, including being sincere, because there's distractions. And there's other, you know, anartas and other stuff going on inside, subtle stuff that leads to not so subtle stuff. So sincere gives us the capacity to get on the other side of stuff. The, the anarthas within. Because the anarthas within are going to come out. Whatever's in comes out. Guaranteed. It's just a, a law of nature. And therefore the process, as this discussion between Antariksha and King Nimi is giving us foundational instructions in the principle of shelter of guru and the importance of it. What does it mean? How does it work? 
What, what does he do? What do we do? What does Krishna do? It's a mystery on the one hand, but there's a science on the other hand. And how we can understand the mystery is through the medium of the science and applying the science, jnana vijnanam astikyam, and we become qualified to understand mysteries of Krishna. There's one more slide, and then that concludes this initiation discussion. Here's a nice quote. Srila Prabhupada is quoted saying July 9th, 1969. I have accepted you as my disciple and you have accepted me as your spiritual father. This relationship cannot be ended anymore. It is eternal. Now we read from Brahma Vivarta Purana, some people break that. Now, from their side, they break it. From, from the spiritual father's side, he doesn't break it. So if someone get, breaks it, it's, it's an offense. And they, when you make some offense, what happens when you make some offense? you got some problems. And those problems aren't easily eradicated. So don't make that. That's a big one. Don't make that. Don't make any. And don't make a big one like that. Very serious. Very serious. And it happens. It happens. It happened during Prabhupada's time. It's happened since Prabhupada's time. The principle doesn't change. It's very serious. From Prabhupada's side, once having accepted by the spiritual master, the relationship is never broken. Cannot be ended. It's a spiritual event that has a spiritual duration and there's much to be said about it but I think I'm going to end there now we're going because we have a schedule to follow I'm going to move on to our procedure for the yagya Namaruchi's recovered from a migraine headache 90% and he's going to lead us in the yagya do you need a microphone what Oh, yeah, Brahma Samhita. You were supposed to have received, thank you. You were supposed to have received a copy of Sri Brahma Samhita. So get it ready because we're going to begin. Sri Brahma Samhita. Now, I chant rather swiftly, and please follow the cadence that I chant, and if not, you'll be lost. Thank you. Ready? Isura Parama Krishna, Sachit Ananda Vigraha, Anadir Adir Govinda, Sarva Karana Karanam, Chintamani Prakada Sadma Sukalpa Briksha, Laksha Vritesa Surabhir Abhipalayantam Lakshmi Sahasra Shatta Sambrama Sevyamanam Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Venum Kanvantam Aravinda Dalaya Taksham Barhavatam Samasitam Buddha Sundarangam Kandar Pakoti Kamaniya Vishesha Shobham Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Alo the Chandra Kanda Sadvana Malya Vanshi, Ratnangadam Pranaya Kena Kandavi Lasam, Shambam Tribangaditam Niata Prakasham, Govindamadi Pudusham, Tamahamba Jami, Angani Yasa Sakalendriya Vritti Manti, Hashanti Panti Kalyanti Chiram Jiganti, <coughs> Ananda Chinmaya Sat Ujvala Vigrahasya, Govinda Madi Pudusham, Tamaham Bajami, Advaita Machutimanadi Manantaropam, Atyam Purana Purusham Namayovanamcha, Vedesha Durlabam Adurlabam Atma Bhakta, Govinda Madi Pudusham, Tamaham. <coughs>
Pantastu koti shatavatsara sampragam yo Vayoratapi manasomani pungavanam Sopyasti yadpapadasin yabachincha tatve Govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami Ekopya saurachayatam jagadanda kotim Yachakti rasti jagadanda chadayadantaha Andanta rasta paramanu chayanta rastam Govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami Yad bhava bhava tadiyoma nujasta taiva Samprapya rupa mahimaja nayana bhushaha Suktairiyam eva nigama pratadaistavanti Govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami Ananda chinmaya rasapati bhavi tabis Tabiriya eva nijaruka tayaka labihi Goloka eva nabhisatnya kilatma bhoto Govindamadi purusham tamaham Preman jana charita bhakti vilochane na Santaksa daiva rida yesha viloka yanti Yam shama sundara machintu ganasarupam Govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami Ramadi murtu shikalani amena tishtan Nana avatara makarod bhuvanesha kintu Krishna kshvayam samavabak paramakpamanyo Govindamadi purusham Amaham bhajami Yasya prabha prabha vato jagadanda koti Koti shvashesha vasadadi vibhuti binnam Tad brahma nishkalam ananta mashesha bhotam Govindamadi purusham Amaham bhajami Maya hi asya jagadanda satani sute Trigunya tad vishaya veda vitaya mana Satbhava lambi para satpam vishuddha satpam Govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami Anand chinmaya rasapati bhavita Yat prani nam pani param smarutamu petya Lilaya tenu bhuvanani jagat yajasram Govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami Goloka namni nijadamni talecha tasya Devi Mahesha Haridamas Teshu Teshu Te Te Prabhava Nichayabhi Hitashchayena Govindamadi Purusham Namaham Bajami Shristi Siti Pralaya Sadhana Chaktireka Chayeva Yasya Bhuvanani Vibharati Durga Itchana Rupam Apiyasya Tateshta Tesa Govindamadi Purusham Namaham Bajami Kshiram yatavidhi vikara visheshu yoga Sanjayate hitatak pratagasti hetaho Yaksham bhutam amitatasa mupaiti karyad Govindamadi purusham tamaham Deeparcha eva hidasham tanam abhyupetya Deepayate varvita hetu samana dharma Yastata geva itcha vishnu taya vibhati Govindamadi purusham tamaham Yatkarnava paditesma hitsu yoga Nidramananda jagadanda saroma kopaha Hadara shaktim avarambya paramsumur Govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami Yasyaika nishpasita kana matavalambya Jeevanti loma vinaja jagadanda nataha Vishnur Mahatya Yasya Kalami Shesho Govindamadi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Vasvanya Tanksma Sakaneshu Najesha Tejaha Sviyam Kiyad Prakariyad Tadvitad Vadatra Brahmaya Isha Dagadanda Vedana Karta Govindamadi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Yatpada Pallava Yugam Vinadaya Kumbha Dvanve pranama samaye saganadi rajaha Vighan palhantam alabhasya jagatrayasya Govindamadi purusham tamaham Agnir mahi ambamarudh shascha Kalas tatatma manasita jagatrayani Yasmad bhavanti vibhavanti vishanti yamcha Govindamadi purusham 
Namaham Bajami Yat Chakshu Isa Sabita Sakala Grahanam Raja Samastra Suramurti Ashesha Tejaha Yas Yakya Yabramati Sambrita Kala Chakra Govinda Madhi Purusham Namaham Bajami Dharma the Papa Nichaya Shuta Yasta Pansi Brahma the Kita Padagaba the Yasta Jeevaha Yadra Vikata Prakata Prabhava Govinda Madhi Purusham Namaham Bajami Yastvindra Gopa Matavindra Mahostra Karma Pandana Rupa Padabhajan Atunoti Karma near here to Kintu Chabakti Bajam Govinda ma purusham tamaham bhajami Yam kro da kamas ajapra nayadi bhiti Vat sanya moha gora gora vasevya babai Sanchin chitasha sadrishim tanam aparete Govinda ma di purusham tamaham bhajami Shriya kanta kanta parama purusha kalpa charabho Dhrama bhumis chinta mani gana mai tayam amritam Kata ganam natyam ganabam api pangshang vyasaki Chidanandam jyoti param api tad asvadyam api cha Sayatrakshirad vishavati surabhi vyasya sumahan Dimeshad yakyo vavrajati yatir trapi samaya Prajeshme tad vipam tamaham iha golokam ityam Vidanta station ta shiti shara ikaye ishara parama krishna sachirananda vikraha anhari ovinasa So now we will change the neck beats uh, for all the neck initiates. So after the neck beats is changed, we will like you know garland you.
Abiram, where are you? Abiram? Ah. When it comes to taking bows, could you request all of those who are with you go to the altar, come over here, and so be just to save time? Next, we will perform Achaman. So you can take a little bit of water in the palm of your right hand. As we are chanting the mantras, directly look at the water. We are going to be infusing the power of the mantras and we are going to be sipping it for purification. So as we chant the mantras, repeat after me and look at the water. Om. Om Apavitro Apavitro Pavitro Va Pavitro Va Sarva Vasta Sarva Vastam Gato Piva Gato Piva Yatmare Yatmare Kundari Kaksham Kundari Kaksham Sabagya Nabhaya Abhyantara Abhyantara Sushihi Sushihi Shri Vishnu Shri Vishnu Shri Vishnu Om Keshavayana. You can wash your hand. We will do two more times. Om Apavitro Pavitrova Sarva Vastam Gato Piva Yashmaret Pundari Kaksham Shabhagya Abhyantara Sushihi Shri Vishnu Shri Vishnu Shri Vishnu Om Narayana So wash your hand again one last time Om Apavitro Pavitrova Sarva Vastam Gato Piva Yashmare Pundari Kaksham Shabhagya Abhyantara Sushihi Shri Vishnu Shri Vishnu Om Madhavayana so next we are going to be, you are going to be taking the like initiation, like vows. First offer obeisances to the deities, then Srila Prabhupada, then uh, Guru Maharaj. Could you kids move so we have a little path between the altar here? So Abhiram, do the needful. Do the needful. All six. Eight, ten. Eight. Ten, okay. ten. Yes. Yes. So I'll call the names. Then you, they can come forward. Girls, could you sit somewhere else? Could you sit somewhere else? Either that or just evaporate or something. Let people come through that little pathway. Thank you so much. Neeraj? Neeraj. Yes. Number two. Okay, you call the names. You want this sheet? Here's a sheet. Hi, Krishna. You know the procedure, right? Before the deity, the deity door now is closed, but before the deity and the Vaishnavas and spiritual master are taking vows. 
was. And yeah, so I'll say three things. How many rounds you'll chant for the rest of your life? Every day. Okay, good. And the four rules that you'll follow? Very good. And to your best ability, you continue to follow Srila Prabhupada's teachings for the rest of your life. Very good. Your initiated name is Nilamani Das. Nilamani Prabhu Ki. Wife? Don't sit there. Please don't sit there. Please don't sit there. It doesn't look like his wife. What happened? Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. 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 Right. Rahul. Yes, Mother. Ready? You nervous? No? Okay. For the rest of your life, how many rounds you'll chant on these beats? Four rules that you'll follow? Okay. And you'll continue to follow Prabhupada's teachings for the rest of your life. Very good. Those are important vows. Initiated name is Rasa Bihari Das. Okay. Okay. So she's. What's she going to do? You're. You're be a very prolific. She's going to speak through you. How to do this? She was online. She's online, right? So how do we do it? You ask and she'll say? Yes, ma'am. Because we want to hear her voice. We can hear her voice? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Don't go away yet because you're going to have to receive the beads. So, Neha, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? We're going to ask you, Neha, to recite your vows so that I can hear and others can also hear. Do you need a microphone for your wife's voice to be heard? He's just picking up phone, Manoj. Picking up the phone, okay. Technology has its advantages sometimes, as distractions other times. You look really relaxed. Okay. Ready? It's picking up or no? Okay. Neha, can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. So there's three vowels. There we go. Good. Okay. And. Yes. And. Okay, very good. And like your good husband, you'll continue to follow Prabhupada's teachings. Okay, for the rest of your life, too. Very good. Your initiated name. You ready? Neela Shakti Devi Dasi. Shakti. Wait, don't go away. I wanted to hear the meaning. Don't go away. I wanted to hear the meaning. Your, your name has a meaning. Your name meaning is the Supreme Personality of Godhead has a willing potency and one of the aspects of his willing potency is Nila Shakti. And through his willing potency, he performs pastimes. Or another name equivalent to your name is Lila Shakti. But yours is with an N, Nila Shakti. Very good. Hare Krishna. Nipun and Pramila. Nipun, 
निपुण निपुण पांडे You're very enthusiastic. Nice. Got the three vows. How many rounds you chant every day on your beats? Okay. And the four rules? Very good. And you, twelve and Prabhupada's instruction. Rest of your life. Okay. Your initiated name. Navala Krishna. Oh. Navala means ever fresh. So Krishna is Navala Krishna, ever fresh Krishna. Pramila. His good wife. Okay, yes, yes, okay. They should do these obeisances thing before, it's just to save time. Yeah. Next. Neeraj. Hare Krishna. Are you as enthusiastic as your husband is? Yes? Almost. You're following your good husband, including his enthusiasm. Okay. Like, how many rounds you attend on your beads? And he's 16. And the four rules that you'll follow? Okay. And like your good husband, you'll also follow Prabhupada's teachings for the rest of your life. Your initiated name is Pavitra Devi Dasi. Pavitra Devi Dasi Mataji Ki Jai. I don't need it to explain the meaning. <laughs> These devotees have all been under the care of Abhiram for years and years, and that's why he's standing here behind them, behind me. How many rounds you'll chant on your beads for the rest of your life? 16 rounds, minimum. More is okay. And the four rules that you follow? Recite them. You recite them. What are the four? Say them. One, no two, three, meditating, four. No gambling. No meditating, no gambling rules. But I, rules but I, say them. I want to hear you say them. Say yeah. You got all four? I didn't get it, but okay. Okay. And like the others, you'll continue to follow Prabhupada's teachings the rest of your life. Good. Your initiated name is Nidja Jana Das. Nidja Jana Das means Krishna's own devotee. You're a servant of Krishna's own devotee. Das. Haripo. About. You look really happy. Not nervous at all. Okay. Your vows. How many rounds you chant every day? Kitti mala karenge har din. Okay, great. Okay. And the four rules that you follow? Uh, she, she can say it. Uh, okay. No meat eating. You, she, no. No, you just, she just check her. Okay. Boli <laughs> char. No meat eating, no gambling, no illicit sex, gambling. no gambling. You said that one already. And no intoxication. You're, you are nervous after all. And 
you'll, like your good husband and the others, you'll continue to follow Prabhupada's teachings the rest of your life. Your initiated name is Amiya Radha. Amiya Radha Mataji ki jai. Sadhana Mataji. Amiya means sweet. Sweet Radha. Dasi. And last but not least, so you take your vows, how many rounds you'll chant on your beads for the rest of your life? Minimum. And the four rules that you'll follow? Very good. And like the others, you'll also continue for the rest of your life to follow Srila Prabhupada's teachings. Your initiated name is Sarva Mangala Devi Dasi. Sarva Mangala Devi Dasi Mataji ki jai. No need for meaning, it's easy. Sarva Mangala. Satish Kumar Prabhu. Read the next name because I'd like to go quickly. Okay, ma'am. Nikhil Shivasto. I know. Your friends. Okay. Your vows before all the Vaishnavas and everything. Yeah, and? Very good. And? You def and follow them. And, f and follow Prabhupada's teachings. Very good. Your initiated name is Siddha Deha Das. Siddha Deha Das Prabhu Ki Jai. Siddha Deha Das Prabhu Ki Jai. Siddha Deha means one's spiritual form, perfected spiritual Padma form. Padma Siddha Deha Das. Padma Priya Mataji. Huh? Okay. You've been around a long time. Big step. We've been waiting a long time for this big step. Yes? Okay. Your vows. How many rounds you chant on your beads daily? And the four rules? Very good. And like the others, you'll continue to follow Srila Prabhupada's teaching the rest of your life. Initiated name is Nitai Chand. Nitai Chand Prabhu Ki Raju Mataji. You got your mask on. There we go. And the four rules. Excuse me. How many rounds you chant? Okay. And? Uh, now, is Nityananda Pran and Hemangi viewing this right now? Are they viewing this right now? Yes? Okay. Well, there's a video. They can see the video. They're very dear. You, they're, you are very dear to them, and they are very dear to you. So I wish they could be here, but here we go. Initiated name. Gopi Kapriya. Gopi. 
Boom. Jai. Padma Priya is now Gopika Priya. Gopal Singh. You know the routine. How many rounds you chant every day on your beads? Okay. And the four rules that you follow. And? You'll follow Prabhupada's teachings the rest of your life. Say it. Pavan Kaurakur. Okay. In Mataji. Very good. Your initiated name is Rati Vilasani Devi Dasi. Oh. Vilasani Mataji ki. The meaning, before you go, the meaning of your name, she who enjoys the loving pastimes between Radha and Krishna, She likes her name. Uh, okay. Boy, it's been many years awaiting. But here you are. We're very happy that you're making this nice step. Okay. Your vows, how many rounds you chant on your beads? Minimum, 16. And the rules that you follow? Very good. And like the others, you'll continue, as you've been doing for so many years now, carefully following Prabhupada's teachings. Very good. Your initiated name is Vangsi Gopal. Vangsi Gopal Prabhu Ki. Krishna plays the Vangsi. By the way, Vangsi Gopal. <laughs> just listen, just let, you can stand there, but just listen. The, pl the place where Srila Prabhupada stayed for six years when he first moved to Vrindavan was the Radha Vangsi Gopal Mandir. Haribo! So next time you go to Vrindavan, near Keshigat, you can look for the Vangsi Gopal, Radha Vangsi Gopal Temple, and you're named after that deity, or Krishna who plays on his transcendental flute. Abhinash and Ruby. Enthusiastic. How many rounds you attend and, your, and the rules you follow? Very good. And? You continue to follow Prabhupada's teachings the rest of your life. Your initiated name is Pavan Sarovara. Pavan Sarovar Prabhu ki jai. Do you know where Pavan Sarovar is? You, have you heard of Pavan Sarovar? Vrindavan. At the base of Nandagram is Pavan Sarovar. It's the place where every day Nanda Maharaj and Krishna would take their bath in Pavan Sarovar. And there's wonderful Leela connected with it. Find out about it. In Pavan Sarovar Das. Sacred place. Very sacred place. Okay. Same. How many rounds you'll chant on your beats? And the rules you'll follow? And, like your good husband and the others, you'll continue to follow Prabhupada's teachings. Rest of your life. Very good. Initiated name. Sita Rani Devi Dasi. Sita Rani Mataji Ki Jai. Rani means queen. Sita Rani means Sita, who is the queen. Surya Banshi. Surya Banshi. 
ठाकुर How many rounds you'll chant every day for the rest of your life? Minimum sixteen. The rules that you'll follow, and like the others, you'll continue to follow Prabhupada's teachings. Very good. You look just like your your photograph. You look just like your photograph. <laughs> Your initiated name is Abhishek Das. Abhishek Prabhu Ki Jai. And your good wife. Rajeshwari. Same. The how many rounds you chant on your beads daily, rest of your life, and the four rules that you'll follow. Re Rajeshwari? Okay. It's okay. Is it, she covered them? Okay. And like your good husband, you'll continue to follow Prabhupada's teachings. You have a fancy initiated name. You're going to like it. <laughs> Translate. Rati Kelly Sukha. Rati Kelly Sukha Mataji Ki. One who derives Sukha from the wonderful pastimes of love between Radha and Krishna. Translate. So translate. Rajeshwari, Rajeshwari Mataji. Yeah. Here is the grandsire of many nice devotees. Pran Goranga, Pran Goranga Prabhu. Does he speak English? No. Okay. Say in Hindi how many rounds you'll chant every day on your beads. Okay, and the four rules that you'll follow. Very good. You got it. Okay, and like the others, you'll continue to follow Srila Prabhupada's teachings for the rest of your life. Very good. Initiated name is. Tattva Darshan Dad. Tattva Darshan Prabhu Ki Jai. Now, how are we going to do this Mataji from Tirupati? Is there a plan? What's the plan? After the class. Okay. There's one more Mataji that's very elderly. She's the mother of a devotee that's in America. She lives in Tirupati area and she can't come because of her age. And so we're going to do her initiation virtually shortly. And her beads will be taken back by somebody who's going back to Tirupati. Now just a quick um, short message. Three short messages. Just this morning, one of the devotees who was to receive his second initiation left his body here in Udupi. Around 3 a.m. or so, I was told he was chanting his japa and he was looking at the Gopuram of the Sri Krishna Mutt and unexpectedly, he left his body. His body is being taken back to Tirupati, or back to their, their, their home that's near Tirupati to perform their rites. So he and his wife will not be with us. But there was, so it's a moment of prayer for the departed soul. 
of Radha Gopal. And also this morning, some of you that are from the Chicago area certainly know who Uddhava is. He's a seven-year-old boy, and he's been in the hospital for two months because when Uddhava was born, the pediatrician told his parents that his heart is on the wrong side of his body, but he's too young to have that fixed. So they had to wait till he's about seven, something like that. So with much, and, and if, if there's consequences if it didn't happen. So the parents found the best of hospitals that have done many such procedures. And he's been in the hospital for two months with his heroic mother seeing the body of her son open with tubes hanging from the body that was open for quite some time. Finally, they closed the chest and he was on the road to recovery. They even said, you can, he's doing very well. If you want, you can take him to a hospital near where your home is and you don't have to stay over, way over here in another part of the U.S. She, she was ready to stay with him for months, whatever it took. Just this morning, two messages, his blood pressure and his heartbeat. There's some difficulty. They're doing some procedures, etc., etc. Then another message he left. Seven-year-old Uddhava departed this world. So, sad news. And I promised the parents and the family of uh, Radhika Paul that we would take a moment of silence and offer prayers for these two Vaishnavas and their souls of these two Vaishnavas, that their onward journey, wherever Krishna may take them, is favorable and auspicious. So we'll just be silent for a few moments where we can offer some prayers. So we're ready to proceed. You say the first mantra, and I'll say the rest. Responsibly, you say after he says. And then use these three fingers and take a little bit of grains. And from your art, like you are putting it like that, do not throw it like this. You are gently putting it in the fire. Those who are outside, you can come closer. <coughs> So you can repeat after me. Nama Om Om Vishnu Padaya Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pesthaya Krishna Pesthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Roma Pada Swamin Iti Namine Swaha 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 Om Jnana Timarandasya <coughs> Gyananjana Salakaya <coughs> Chakshudan Miditam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Saha 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 Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam yena bhotade Sayam rupagadamayam Dadati svapadantikam Saha Svaha Svaha Pandeham Shri Guru <coughs> Shri Yutapadakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavanksha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raganatan 
Anvitam tam sajivam Sadvaitam sabadutam Parijana sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sadvaitam sabadutam Parijana sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitangscha Saha 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 Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhotale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nityanamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Desatarine Saha Svaha, Svaha, Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasthaya Bhotale, Srimate Bhakti Siddhanta, Saraswati Itinamine, Sri Varshapanavi Devi, Dayataya Kripadaya, Krishna Sambandha Vigyana Dayane Prabhave Namaha Madhurya Jvala Premadhyam Shri Rupa Nuga Bhakti Dham Shri Gaura Karuna Shakti Vigrahaya Namostate Namaste Gauravani Shri Murtaye Dinatari name Rupa Anuga Viruta Upper Siddhanta Devanta Hari name Swaha 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 Namo Gora Kishoraya Sakshad by Ragya Murtaye Vipralamba Rasambo De Padambo Jayatina Maha Saha 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 Namo Bhakti Vinodaya Sachit Ananda Namine Gora Shakti Sarupaya Rupa Noga Variety Saha 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 Gora Vir Baba Bumish Twam Nidish Tas and Jenna Priyaha Vaishnava Sarabhama Sri Jagannathaya Tena Maha Swaha, 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 Bancha Kalpaturubhyascha, Kripasindhubhya Evacha, Patitanam Pavanebhyo, Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha, Swaha, Swaha, Svaha Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gora Tvishe Namaha Svaha 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 Panchatatvatmakam Krishnam Bhakta Rupa Surupakam Bhakta Vatanam Bhakta Kyam 
namami bhakta shaktikam saha 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 he krishna karuna sindho dina bandho jagatpate gopesha gopika kanta radha kanta namostate Svaha, 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 Jayatam Surato Pangor, Mamamanda Mater Gati, Matsarvasrapadam Bojo, Radha Madana Mohano, Svaha, Svaha, Saha Divya Brindaranya Kalpa Dramadaha Srimad Ratnagara Singhasana Sto Srimad Radha Sri the Govinda Devo Vaishthalabhi Sevyamano Smarami Svaha, 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 Sriman Rasa Rasa Rambi, Vangshi Bhatta Tata Stataha, Karshan Venus Vanayar Gopir, Gopinata Sri Estanaha, Svaha, Svaha, Svaha Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Radhe Vrindavanishri Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Svaha 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 Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shivasadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Svaha 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Swaha 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 Where's our kirtan party? Kirtan Somebody There's the mic. Namo Brahmanya Devaya Go Brahmana Hittaya Cha Yagat Hittaya Krishnaya Go Vindaya Namo Namaha Svaha 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 Kirtan Try to close 